everyone, and, and thank you for being here. Uh, yesterday evening, Willie Taggart informed me that he had offered and accepted the head coaching position at the University of South Florida. He said he felt it was the right move for him and his family, and that it presented an opportunity for him that he could not turn down. Obviously, we are very disappointed that Coach Taggart will no longer be our head football coach. He did a tremendous job for WKU, inheriting a program with a 20-game losing streak before posting back-to-back 7-5 and five records in his second and third seasons. This year, we had a landmark win in Lexington over the University of Kentucky, and we were the only Sunbelt Conference school to defeat Arkansas State. And as everyone knows, this past Sunday, our program earned our first ever bowl appearance as a football bowl subdivision member. We also had the highest single game attendance average in our program's 94 year history, including the two largest single game crowds. You cannot overstate the positive impact Coach Taggart had on our football program, athletic department, and university. He is an outstanding football coach and an even better person. And I know Hilltopper fans join me in wishing him and his family great success in his new endeavor at the University of South Florida. I want our fans to know we made every effort to retain Coach Taggart as our head coach. I initially met with him during our bye week in early October and told him we had raised sufficient private funds to offer him a package that could make him the highest paid coach in the Sunbelt Conference. He felt announcing a new contract during the season would be a distraction to the team and wanted to keep the focus on football. We respected that decision and mutually agreed to wait until the end of the regular season to discuss a new contract. This past week, we again extended a term sheet that offered him a contract that would enable him to become the highest paid coach in our conference. We were proactive and thorough in our efforts to retain him, and I sincerely thank those individuals that pledged their support to this football program and helped make those efforts possible. Moving forward, our program has a bowl game to prepare for. Thus, we have named Lance Guidry interim head coach, and Lance has assumed all responsibilities related to our team's preparations for the Little Caesars Pizza Bowl. I met with Coach Guidry along with our assistant coaches and support staff at 9 a.m. this morning. Then Coach Guidry and I met with our players at 9.30. Following the completion of this news conference, Coach Guidry and our captains, Jack Doyle and Jamarcus Allen, will be available in this room. I have total confidence in Lance's ability to prepare and lead our team. And as the interim head coach of Miami of Ohio, he led the Red Hawks to a 35-21 win over Middle Tennessee in the 2011 GoDaddy.com Bowl. I also encourage the Hilltopper Nation to rally around our football team. They need you now more than ever as they aim to capture a historic bowl victory. Our search to identify and hire Western Kentucky's next head football coach has begun. This individual will have winning experience, strong recruiting skills, a history of player development, and must be active in our community. Coach Taggart often said, when someone leaves, it gives us an opportunity to get better. I am confident we will hire an outstanding head coach who will continue our program's upward climb. We have accomplished much in the last three seasons, but by no means have we approached the ceiling of what this program can achieve. Our goals remain the same, our mission will not waver, and there is every reason to believe that the best days for WKU football lay ahead. I will now be happy to take your questions. You guys could, if you'd raise your hand if you have a question in here. 